First, I want to ask you, why did you agree to do this interview with us? The reason I've agreed to do this interview was because when uh, I noticed that my ex co defendant, Gypsy Blanchard, got a lot of attention, as she did, and she just kept on getting more and more attention. I felt that it's been tipped in one side of a scale to where I really wasn't getting much coverage. I wasn't being able to actually be able to voice my opinion. I wasn't able to let everyone know what I truly feel. I just know that she knows. She knows that I've taken the responsibility for mine already. Uh, I still have feelings for her. And of course, I will always have feelings for her. But uh, every, every human being needs to grow and learn from their mistakes. And I feel that's really me and her both are right now. We're learning from this mistake that we've both made. I mean, uh, the way she was raised, no woman should ever, no child for that matter, should ever have to be raised that way. I did feel that she was not taking responsibility for her actions, but at the same time, due to the way I know she was raised, I can't blame her, I can't. That and along with my uh, religion, with being a Christian, I know I'm not supposed to judge, so I'm not going to judge. It's just not part of who I am. I just won't do it. What do you want people to know about you and your story, Nicholas? The parts of my story that would be the main parts that would matter. And basically, have it as a life's lesson, basically. Tell them, don't you know, be doing this stuff because you never know what it could lead to. And basically, be an example of a role model if I could. Because, I mean, due to all the publicity uh, is getting, and she's getting me that publicity too, I feel like I have a responsibility. I feel like I have to be somewhat of a role model. And because of that, that's part of the reason why I, f I feel like I have something to basically owe up to, basically. I mean, I do have rest restitution paid to the society, which of course I'll be happy to do. But at the same time, uh, I want to basically let everyone know that I'm not just this cold killer that doesn't have any feelings or anything else like that. I'm, I'm a human being. And as they say, human beings make mistakes. If I had to change anything at all, of course, one of the obvious ones was I would have probably ran away with Gypsy. Those are the obvious ones. I definitely would have done that because I don't want to be stained with a, a murder on my hands. I don't want to be stained with that, being labeled as a killer. I don't want to be stained with that, but I'll live with it. I'll live with it. I probably would have uh, attempted to uh, try to get her to prolong it to a longer date, to maybe try to go a different route rather than what we did do. I'm maybe trying to get her pregnant so this way her mom would be forced to let me in her life. Well. We really didn't get a chance to go through that route just because the limited time he had, there's just no way it would have been possible. So I probably, and maybe that's the only other minor change I would have made is that I would have ran away with her earlier. So this way we wouldn't have had to suffer all this time away from each other that we could have been closer together. That's a, probably the only two things I would have changed, really. when I was still in Michigan, something clicked. It was, ironically, it was on my very birthday, I had something click in me. And once that thing clicked, uh, I knew that there was something different about myself that I didn't understand. I should actually bring up uh, another moment when I was 14 years old, and that's when I first, the first, like, first glimpse of it. This is when I realized that all of the things that were building up in me were basically jeopardizing my, my inner happiness, my inner peace, and all the rest of that. Because uh, I remember seeing one night, it was at 9 o'clock at night time, I was in my grandma's house. I just remember looking in the mirror and I saw a glimpse of something I didn't recognize in my eye. It, just, it was just a shade. And then he went away. It was almost like something was trying to tell me, oh yeah, I'm there. Ah, uh, you've created me. I'm there. There's very almost almost no light at all in there. 
but I saw a shadow go right past it. Just, it was almost like it wanted me to know that it was there. And, and so really, I knew there was a darker part of me and I didn't, I was actually quite terrified to actually explore it. I was terrified to explore it. And now I actually regret exploring it with Gypsy, because she's the one I, I, I hoped I would be brave enough to actually explore it with me, just so that's the way I understand um, what's inside, what, who that is, what that is. I, I wanted to know, so this way I know what I'll be dealing with. And unfortunately, that part of me wanted to come out for a very long time, and the very first opportunity it got, I didn't waste any time in basically trying to make an example out of somebody, unfortunately. Uh, that, that dark shadow part of me that really is triggered by anger. It's triggered by anger. The sweet, uh, innocent me that I, I usually wake up to every day is not there. It, it's a completely different person. I had uh, one of those moments you might only have once in your lifetime. Uh, basically, it was an angel and a devil. I actually had two different ones speaking to me. They both said one thing and left the decision up to me. Uh, first, the angel spoke, which I wish I was able to listen to because it's really weird because that only reassured me that my original idea of what we should do would have been the right thing to do. It's really weird that it reassured me on that. What he had actually said, his very actual words, was take care and run. This is his very words. We had the other part of me, and yeah, that darn devil. What it ended up telling me was, uh, this bitch is dead. That's all it said, this bitch is dead. But basically, once I heard that, uh, uh, some darn reason, I don't know why it inflamed the uh, emotion of in rage, but it did. It, it inflamed emotion and rage. So I ended up whispering to Gypsy, get in the bathroom, because I just want to get this over with. And she made me believe that her mom would find her. And then I guess that's the reason why the darker part of me was more, I guess you could say, uh, not manipulative, but more able to persuade me into saying, you're gonna have to do this.